Welcome to the Elementary Grading and Reporting presentation. It is important to know the NEISD grading philosophy complies with Texas Education Code 28.0216 by requiring that a classroom teacher assign a grade that reflects the student's relative mastery of an assignment, may not require a classroom teacher to assign a minimum grade for an assignment without regard for a student's quality of work, will allow a student a reasonable opportunity to make up or redo in a class assignment or examination for which the student received a failing grade. The NEISD philosophy also helps the teacher communicate progress to the student and parent and guardian on the mastery of the TEKS appraise the effectiveness of the teaching strategy and modes of instruction, evaluate strengths and needs of each student, determine if credit will be awarded. When determining student grades, classroom teachers need to remember the student's demonstration of mastery of the instructional expectations as aligned in the TEKS for grade level subjects or courses shall be the major factor in determining the student's grade for a subject or course. Board Policy EIA Local. Progress of students in grades pre-K and kinder will be reflected on the NEISD checklist. Progress of students in grades 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th will be reflected on the NEISD report card. No single grade shall count for more than 20% of the nine weeks average or the semester average. A minimum of nine grades will be recorded per nine weeks in all foundation curriculum classes. Foundation curriculum classes are English language arts reading, mathematics, science, and social studies. A student's academic grade will not be affected by non-academic behavior or adherence to procedural rules. When applying grades to students who are identified in a special population, there are factors to consider. For students in special education, grades for students in special education will be based on performance that demonstrates progress toward mastery of the TEKS following the application of the ARD recommended accommodations and or modifications intended to increase the potential for successful learning. All students in special education will have access to the content standards TEKS for their appropriate grade level. For students in 504 and dyslexia programs, students identified for dyslexia programs which are served through 504 or other students identified as Section 504 will be graded as all other general education students with appropriate accommodations identified through their individual plans. For students in bilingual and English as a Second Language ESL programs, English language learners should not have failing grades based only on their inability to speak English. ELL students are not exempt from grades. ELL students must receive the appropriate linguistic accommodations as determined by the campus LPAC. Gifted and Talented Program GT students are not required to complete lessons, activities that take place in the homeroom when they are attending GT class. However, GT students will be responsible for all content assessed. GT students should not be kept from attending their GT class in order to complete any assignment or activity. GT students may be required to complete homework. When reteaching, retesting, and reassessment, remember, the goal of NEISD is for every student to master all TEKS specified for each grade level at a minimum level of 70%. Students not receiving a passing grade on the concepts and skills specified in the TEKS and necessary for future learning, reteaching, redoing assignments, retesting, and or reassessment will be provided for the student. Teachers will monitor and identify students who need reteaching. Teachers will provide reteaching when necessary, allowing students a reasonable opportunity 
to make up or redo a class assignment or assessment for which the student received a failing grade. A maximum of 70% will be recorded when redoing, retesting, and or reassessing for a failed grade. Reteaching will employ instructional strategies different from the original instruction. When reporting grades, it is the teacher's responsibility to remember all grades are required to be recorded in the electronic gradebook within seven calendar days of the due date. Progress reports must be issued to parents, guardians, during the third week of the nine-week grading period if the student's average is below 70% in any subject area, first through fifth grade, or is not meeting grade level expectations in pre-kinder or kinder. Progress reports must be issued mm -hmm. to all parents, guardians, during the sixth <laughs> week of the nine week grading period. Teachers are required to verify and edit grades prior to the exporting of grades. All elementary employees mm -hmm. are required to understand and follow EIA regulation elementary grading and reporting. The entire policy can be found on the Curriculum and Compliance website under Grading and Reporting.